Hey, it's Razzy. I'm back on Mystical Illuminations to kind of give you guys my perspective on quantum shifting and jumping, as you know by the title. And this is a follow up on Christy Aphrodite and Gemini Brown's videos. Uh, this is also something that I, I actually teach in one of my uh, readings that I offer is a shifting session. And, but first, I want to really give you my perspective because this topic is very vast. It has a lot of different ways you can look at it. And I hope that my video helps you a little bit and, and you know, also explain some of the stuff, some of the ingenious stuff that Chrissy Aphrodite and Gemini Brian were talking about as well. So, I got a little thing up here and I just want to get straight into my visual for you first. So you are born, right? And from the day you are born till the day you die, that is your lifetime, right? This one linear lifetime. So if you are into the spiritual world, well, you know, a lot of us talk about past lives and I even talk about future lives and how we can pull from our future self in the right here and the right now. But what we're all born to understand is this one lifetime full of days, minutes, m aka memories, full of memories that are expressed as each dot on this, this timeline, right? So this is one lifetime timeline with a bunch of different memories. Now, as you go through life, you meet a whole bunch of people and, you know, everyone else is experiencing another lifetime within this timeline as well, right? And when you meet somebody else, then you have their lives kind of meet up and sync up with your lifetime, right? So this point right here is kind of like a memory that has to do with someone else's lifetime as well. Now, on top of that, we have dimensions. And I just wanted to clarify that this is going to be a sort of visual representation in the best way I can give it to y'all of the multiverse that Christy Aphrodite talked about. So once again, timeline, other people's lives or other people's lifetimes within your timeline. We are all experiencing a very different perspective of the world. And we are all experiencing very different lives, even if we live together like roommates or we're in a relationship with somebody else or we have a child. We are all still shifting and moving through all of this multiverse of different parallel worlds, right? Which is what I'm gonna talk about next. So now you have this one lifetime that you experience linearly. But here's the thing about time. Time is lucid, it's fluid. It actually isn't just linear. And we kind of have already proven that within quantum physics and science so it's not like we have to go and explain how time is like lucid but if you are here you probably already understand that so now let's get back to the board so this is one lifetime now we've heard the term of parallel lives right and within the multiverse every single experience that i could be having right now has already happened is happening and I am just living one of those. So now we put another line on the board for a parallel life of yours or mine, right? Let's say that, well, we're talking about you, right? So this is your life. This is your parallel life. And then it keeps going on and on and on. And you have all different versions of your parallel lives, right? That coincide with other people's lives that touch into all of these different versions of your life as well. I hope this is making a little bit of sense. So now we're gonna start adding more memories, points, you know, different events that happens during all of these other lifetimes. But guess what? It doesn't stop there. Now, why doesn't it stop there? Because outside of having one lifetime and parallel lives, we also have 
dimensions, right? That are very different than our lives that we're experiencing because each d dimension is a different version of your experience within different levels of consciousness. So now, on top of this, which are all the lifetimes, this straightforward grid, which also represents traveling. And how does this represent traveling, right? Well, when we look at a map, we follow longitude and latitude in order to understand where we're going. When you're flying a plane, when you're plugging in stuff into a GPS, that's what it's doing, right? There's a longitude and a latitude, and we use that to actually travel on the planet. Well, when you time travel, which is quantum shifting, quantum shifting is time traveling, right? When you time travel, you are using a longitude and a latitude version within the cosmos, right? But it's a lot more vast than just the physical world. Because the thing about time traveling and what we haven't been able to accomplish is on Earth, people are trying to learn how to time travel within one linear lifetime. They're not thinking about traveling through parallel lives they're trying to figure out how to go back in time to when we were a child with our physical essence our physical bodies and that's why we probably really haven't figured out how to time travel within one sing singular linear life because the truth is we're always shifting we're always time traveling every second every few seconds all of the atoms in in your body all of what makes you you has shifted and has renewed itself into something new and we're always tapping in and moving through different parallels all the time okay so let's get back so let's talk about the dimensions now you basically have nine dimensions right because when you look at mathematics which is also what time is right mathematics you have one through nine. Those are the only numbers that actually exist. After that, it's just repetitive. They, they, you know, go from nine to 10, that's basically back to a one, then to 11, which is a two, to 12, which is a three, and it keeps going and going and going and going and going. So it's one to nine, one to nine, one to nine. So we have all of these dimensions where our consciousness moves through, and we have all of these different bodies as well, which maybe you've heard of, you have an emotional body, an etheric body, not just this physical body that we are so focused on because the universe and life is vibration. The universe responds also to vibrations, but we'll get there. So how do we put the dimensions onto this map to get a little visual understanding? Well, in my opinion, this is how it goes, right? So you got all these dimensions and I won't draw them all because I'll be here for a while. And, you know, it's kind of hard to draw this way. I'm an artist, though. Don't doubt me. Go to my Instagram and rise. You could go see my art. <laughs> so, OK. So we have these different parallels that hit each other, right? Yeah, this is kind of a bad but you get the gist of what I'm saying. You keep going and there's more dimensions on top. When you take this graph outside of this 3D physical object and you expand it, it's, it's, a, it's a 3D grid, right? It's not just linear. It's not just up and down. It's all around you. It's to the side. It's diagonal. It's these points are all different experiences that you could be having and when you're when you're quantum shifting what you're doing is let's say you're right here right this is you we're on one of those maps now um actually i have to write backwards this is gonna be a testament to my art skills let's see if i could do this uh nope <laughs> Actually, you might be able to see this one. Right, so I have to write it backwards. Okay, cool. I'm wasting my time. Wasting my time. Look at that. I, I wrote backwards for y'all. Okay, so this is you right here in this moment. 
Now, here's something I want to talk to you guys about, too, which is really slept on. But it's not at the same time. I know you've heard about being in the now. Being in the now is the key to learning how to shift to the actual place that you want to go, to have control over shifting. Most of the time, people are always projecting, right, from this one place to like a dream they have of their future or a place they want to be five years from now. And maybe that place isn't actually possible in this one timeline, but the dream that you have, that you want to be a famous rapper or singer, exists somewhere in another life with a higher consciousness, a higher feeling of expression than you are able to feel and express right now. Because when you're saying that you want to shift out of your current state, all it means is that you want to feel differently. You want to feel better. You want to experience something different and something more connected and more aligned to who you feel like you are. Now, this leads me to the keys, right? Emotions. What is emotion? Emotion is just energy in motion, like literally, right? So emotions, energy in motion. Energy in motion is called kinetic energy. Now that we're getting into quantum physics, and I'm not going to get too far, but kinetic energy, which is energy in motion, is how you create anything in life right? So if you're not allowing yourself to feel what is happening to you from whatever experience it is that you are in currently, so let's say this is here with, this is where you are right now and it's not a good place. Let's say you're in an abusive relationship and, you know, it's toxic, it's bad and you wake up and you are depressed, right? So you dream of the day where you're not in this relationship or you're in a better one or you're free traveling the world and you want to get there, right? A part of the shifting is to be so in the now and to allow yourself to feel every single thing that you have to feel that you currently feel in this moment of right now in order to be aware Right. So when you're allowing your energy, your emotions to come out of you to to release instead of holding them back or trying to project yourself into the future and feel that, which is sometimes a act of visualizing. But what happens is when you dream and you really visualize sometimes too much, it can hold you back because you open your eyes and you're like, damn, I, I hate where I'm at. So you have to respond to your current situation differently, right? You have to respond to your current situation. You have to be aware, completely aware of what is happening around you and how you truly feel about it. And you have to tap so far into the truth of your feelings. And if that means you feel like shit, you have to honestly feel like shit. And you have to really understand and integrate what it means to be on that lower side of the spectrum so that you can properly see the other points that are closest to you that are your options that you can move to. Because the truth is when you're shifting, you don't just shift. We're not talking about some miraculous feat of shifting from today till tomorrow to live this dream. No, it took all of us years of working on our emotions to be on this platform together to, to find each other so that we can start to teach you how to do this for you. It took years of work to, to get here. If you don't know, I'm in my Saturn return. I'm going to be 30 this year. I wish I was doing this when I was 25. But the lifetime that I was in was not was not suited for what I wanted to do and, and and you know every time I tried to run away from that life I actually just ended up staying in the same place because I wasn't feeling my true emotions because the universe and the way you really time travel 
is with your emotions. And the universe responds to what you feel, not the physical things that are around you, but the physical things that are around you are a direct manifestation of how you feel. And sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow. This is the, the real truth. Sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow that you're in the situation you're in because of you and nobody else. That you allowed yourself to be swayed or to be dictated by all the other people in your life. And instead of listening to yourself, you listen to others or you get influenced by others and then you get you get dragged and pulled into a bunch of scenarios and places you don't want to be. Not all of these points on here are the highest dimension, the highest vibration, the highest feeling. But anyway, so going back to this, right? <sighs> So the multiverse, you time traveling, quantum shifting and jumping. You have to be so aware of your current state. You have to be so honest with yourself about how it feels to be where you're at. You have to work on your emotions so that you can see clearly the options that you have every day that are close to you to shift either higher up in a dimension and forward to a different time. And, and a lot of the times you're actually shifting out of this one lifetime you were born into to a completely new parallel life. And you don't even realize it because when you're shifting, it's about the micro things that are happening around you. It's, it's, it's a micro experience. It's not a macro experience. It's not like what it is time travel in movies where you just get in a machine and then you open the door and, you know, you have a brand new family and a brand new life and in whatever. No, it's not it's not like that. You have to be able to identify the very little details of what is changing and the different doors that are opening that are so small. Because the point that I'm trying to make is that the way you shift is so small. And once again, it's when your your energy is constantly in motion. So you cannot trap an emotion and act like you know, it's not something you're really feeling and it's not something that's really happening or ignore the truth because when you do that, you're not move. you're always moving, but you're not going to move to anywhere that you actually feel better in. You'll just end up moving to a place that you feel worse in, to another cluster of like experiences that are on your same vibration, right? So quantum shifting and jumping is about elevating your vibration it is about like what everyone said moving forward and continuing to respond better to your environment respond better and stay and and develop your awareness so that you can be aware of the synchronicities so you can start seeing the little things for example here's an example yesterday right i went out with my friends in the morning I came back home to take a nap because I was drinking a little and I've been wanting to shift out of certain things, certain relationship patterns, certain money patterns that are not really helpful for me that I feel like I've been kind of trapped in because I don't allow certain of my emotions to work itself around these areas. And the long story short, I was trying to take a nap and the world gave me these little little details of moments in order for me to like literally wake up right i was gonna take a nap and i was in and out of sleep we have all these balloons outside in my in my apartment from a party about a few days ago and one of the balloons just bursted out of nowhere i thought my roommate was up or something fell they it was outside of my door and it just popped it popped I heard it, I got up, I was like, that was weird. Maybe I'm not supposed to be sleeping now, which is how you identify just a the tiniest shift point. I wasn't supposed to be sleeping. I wasn't supposed to be sleeping, but of course I go, mm, I don't know, that was weird. I'm just gonna chill in my room, right? Cause I'm still kind of tired. And then all of a sudden Amazon comes to the door, they ring the doorbell. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Clearly, I got to get up. Clearly, I can't be sleeping right now. So I got up and I got the package. I saw the balloon that popped from nothing. There was nothing that would have made this balloon. There's so many more balloons and this one popped for no reason. 
because I just wasn't supposed to be sleeping. Now, I could have ignored the package, I could have ignored the balloon, and I could have just went back to bed. But if I did, I would have missed this this little opportunity to hop on Instagram, go into this Instagram live of this Tantra challenge that I'm doing, and then realize that it was the last day of the challenge, so I needed to go to the Zoom meeting for it. I went to the Zoom meeting, I sat in for the whole thing, and it was and it, it taught me so much in that in that hour and a half or how long however long it was and i was about to miss that zoom meeting and i learned some vital things about my relationship experiences in the last few weeks and about the attachments that i've been holding on to and how that relationship experience was also related to me holding on to my security ideas of money now I hope that like makes sense for y'all because it's as small as that. I was able to elevate because of a tiny little opportunity that came to me that I was aware enough to be like, hmm, this is an opportunity for, for me to use my emotions right now. The emotions that I was trying to kind of sleep off because I was, I had a good day, but I also had the, uh, the, the ideas in my head of like, I shouldn't have spent money today and I shouldn't have went out. And even though it was a good day, like, now I can't record, now I can't do work. And I had, I, I was trying to go to bed, I was trying to sleep it off. But I had the opportunity to wake up and I took it and I didn't keep myself stuck. And then I moved from this place to the next place. And today I feel so much better. I recorded this video the day before yesterday and it was, it was really bad and I just wasn't in it. But this one, I hope, makes more sense to y'all if you want to leave me some criticisms if anyone else wants to follow up i'm so down for that uh yeah this is quantum shifting this is quantum jumping in the shortest way i can give it to y'all because like i said this is a vast topic it's broad it has so much involved and i want to teach you guys now that you know emotional mastery is a part of how you shift how you jump I want to show you guys how to get more in tune with your environment, how to, you know, do things like put up flowers that signify something way bigger in order to help you shift through a moment in time to get to another parallel world in this multiverse. OK, because what you see as material and light, it's all really illusions. Time is an illusion. We can time travel. We're doing it all the time. Don't let these shows and movies confuse you into thinking that like, what I'm saying is some crazy mystical thing. It actually is really fucking simple. It's really simple. We live in a vibrational universe that responds to emotions. So you use your emotions to shift through higher timelines, to talk to your future self, your past self, your parallel self. This world is infinite. As infinite space is, that is the space that resides within you. It is infinite. So don't get caught up in what you see. I hope you guys have a great time wherever you are in time. And if you want to get a reading from me, a shifting session where I can help you identify what's going on in your life, give you some clarity, give you some confirmations, show you the next few opportunities that are going to be the highest shifting points for you, you can find me on ClearSight Consulting. My link will be below. And if you want to follow me on the gram, n.razzy, I'll be updating, you know, some transit stuff there. And I'll be back again for another talk. Thank you so much for tuning in. Till next time, I love y'all.